everybody, welcome to Scuba Diver Mag. Right here is the Shearwater Swift Smart AI Transmitter. So this little guy is a wireless air transmitter that fits onto a high pressure port on your regulator and sends tank pressure data to your air integrated Shearwater dive computer. The Swift is a next generation transmitter that doesn't just broadcast data blindly like most other traditional transmitters, it also listens out for those other transmitters and actually holds back until it can send a clear signal. With multiple transmitters all broadcasting in the same area, all at the same time, you can actually get a lot of mixed signals. So the Swift both listens for other signals, waits its turn, and also randomizes its broadcasting interval. Unlike basic transmitters that just broadcast on a constant interval, the Swift, it can switch. It's normally on like a five second interval, but it can change to a 5.2 or a 4.8. So it can speed things up or slow things down, randomize it so it's less likely to conflict with other broadcasting transmitters. Smaller than most transmitters, uh, the Swift is a real great size so it doesn't get in the way or crowd your first stage because the high pressure port is often quite close to two low pressure ports. So with a smaller transmitter, it's like to get in the way of those um, those extra hoses. It's also less likely to get knocked or damaged thanks to its smaller size, measuring in at just 76 millimeters long and 34 millimeters wide. And it also has a waterproof rating of 200 meters. The Swift is by far, it's far smaller than other transmitters out there. If you're planning on fitting it to a high pressure hose, that's fine, uh, but you will need a high pressure swivel pin to fit into it, otherwise it will leak um, straight out of the box. It will fit straight onto a first stage, but if you want to attach it onto a high pressure hose, you're gonna need a swivel pin. Um, on the end of it, you'll find an LED that flashes green when it's broadcasting and red when it's uh, an interfering signal is registered so that you or your buddy can check that it's working correctly. And the design allows you to change the battery itself. It's a three volt CR2 lithium battery. You can do that easily by yourself um, when it starts to run low on power, but the battery should be good for about 300 hours of dive time. Rated to 300 bar, the Swift is fine on high pressure cylinders and has a broadcasting range of about one meter in every direction. The transmitter automatically turns itself on when it registers seven bar or more, um, which is like 100 PSI of pressure. And it turns off after a minute of pressure less than 3.5 bar or 50 PSI to, of course, conserve battery power. So let's see how it arrives and um, what you get with it. So this is how it arrives and this is the sweetest little EVA case I think I've ever seen. Uh, and this really goes to show just how compact the um, uh, the Swift is. Little cardboard sleeve and um, and it does have the serial number on that so um, so that's always useful to, um, to keep hold of. Uh, otherwise that's just a cardboard sleeve. Um, little EVA case. Sheer water, uh, very traditional, double zippered, and uh, and you do have a small D ring so you can attach it onto something on the inside of a bag. Uh, unzipped, it's gusseted uh, so it doesn't open all the way. It's still clamshell but not all the way. Uh, you do get a, um, a book of words. Uh, there's probably going to be a digital version of that online. Uh, you get the transmitter itself which really does show just how small and compact it is compared to um, uh, to others the first time that you see it. It's got a decent weight to it, um, that feels quite nice. So um, it's that like reassuring weight of quality. Um, you also have a, a carabiner, so you can clip that off onto, the, um, onto that little D-ring. There's also a little hex key, um, and I imagine that's to, um, to change the battery. Yeah, um, so they actually give you the tool to, um, to unzip it. That's it inside of the, uh, the box. Um, yeah, the, uh, the transmitter itself. So you've got the serial number just on the side here. So that's laser etched into it. And that six digit code, that's what you're gonna be typing into your, um, your dive computer to have that permanent pairing. And on the other uh, tip here, this is your, uh, your LED light. So this is like a traffic light system. If it's blinking green, then everything's fine. If it's red, then it means that it's got a, um, another signal coming in or the battery's running a bit low. There's also yellow, uh, which I think is a, um, I think it's again just for the battery starting to run low or some kind of alert. Uh, it'll 
say something in the uh, in the manual about it but yeah if it's green and it's blinking then uh, everything should be fine you get a little thread protector this blue section here and uh, that just protects those threads Ooh, if i can take that off it does have a um, an o-ring just around it so if you're attaching it onto your room um, your first stage you're going to need that um, but on the inside that's if you're using a swivel pin to attach it onto a, um, a high pressure hose you'll need it to fit a, a swivel pin that doesn't come with the um, the transmitter um, but otherwise yeah nice nice build quality really compact size um, compared to a, a traditional transmitter that's usually a bit bigger and a bit chunkier so um, yeah it is it's going to be more compact on your first stage so it's less likely to get in the way of um, any hoses that are around it so who's the swift for the swift is for divers who want to be able to keep track of their tank pressure data and their gas usage on their dive computer combined with your depth pressure your dive computer can actually work out how long your remaining gas supply will last based on your breathing rate which of course it already knows so that you can better plan your dive in the water and analyze your data afterwards in the water you have gtr or gas time remaining so it works out based on how quickly you're breathing your current depth and your remaining gas supply it says okay with this you're probably going to last about 20 minutes before you run out of this gas so you can also set alerts when you drop below a certain pressure so that if there's an equipment malfunction or you're breathing gas faster than normal it can alert you to that to pay attention uh, the swift will of course work with shearwater dive computers uh, like the perdix the petrol the Terek, and it should work with some other brand dive computers but that can't be guaranteed so no promises just because it's new tech the swift is at the upper end of the transmitter cost you usually get two Two different bands you get the cheaper transmitters and the more expensive transmitters this of course sits at the higher ends and it's not surprising it's a next-gen transmitter and it's comparable prices to its competitors it's not substantially more expensive um, but of course if you've already settled on a dive computer model then you're a little bit limited to which transmitter you can use with it but for a shearwater dive computer the swift really is the best transmitter for you for more information on the Swift and maybe get your hands on one, check out one of our affiliate diving stores by clicking this link up here in the corner. Remember to like the video if you could and subscribe to the channel for more scuba diving content. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.